Welcome to our review on making fertilizers. First thing we need to understand then is about ammonia. Now ammonia can actually be used on its own as a fertilizer as it's water soluble and it contains nitrogen. However, what we normally do with our ammonia is we're gonna use it to make other things. So we can use ammonia to make urea, we could use it to make ammonium nitrate, ammonium sulfate, or even ammonium phosphate. Now the reason we'd combine it with other things is in order to increase the amount of nitrogen or other essential elements into our fertilizer. In terms of making our fertilizers then, all we need to do to make our fertilizer is neutralize an acid with an alkali. Now hopefully you've carried this out in lessons and using the equipment in the right hand side there. So we'd have had our conical flask at the bottom there. We'd have had a burette which is clamped into our clamp stand and in order to obviously make the accurate measurement of our solution that goes into the conical flask, we'd use a measuring cylinder. Now, what we're actually gonna to do to make our fertilizer is we're gonna use the measuring cylinder to measure 25 centimeters cubed of the alkali, which we pour into the conical flask. We then add a few drops of our indicator and the one you probably used was phenolphthalein. We're then going to fill our burette with our acid and then using the tap on the burette, we're going to slowly release the acid into our little alkali and watch for the change in the indicator. So at the point that the indicator changes color, we know that we've neutralized it. We note the volume of the acid needed and then we repeat those first three steps just without the indicator. Once we've got that, we should have our neutral salt. So we can heat the salt solution to reduce its volume and then leave the rest to crystallize. Once we've got our crystals, we filter the mixture to separate the crystals and then leave it to dry. And at that point, we have our fertilizer crystals.